right, as you can see, I've got two AR-15s in front of me. I just uh, thought I'd do a quick video about them, give my my opinion, uh, my likes and dislikes on them. So you see how right here I've got just a lower, and right there I've got a, a complete one, and over there there's an upper. What's cool about these is you can have one lower. This is this is what's considered the gun. This the receipt the lower receiver is what you would uh if you were to go to a, a gun dealer, fill out paperwork for to buy, that's what it would be. You could go online and buy the upper I think there's maybe eleven different calibers you can use. Although I would avoid seven six two by thirty nine and five four five by thirty nine. <clears throat> they tend not to uh, cooperate too well, and people have to really fight the, the rifles to get them to work. But you get ones like 556, five, which are good for, uh, they're good for home defense. You can get 22 caliber bolt conversions for them because it's a 22 caliber uh, bullet. You shoot those fairly cheaply. And they make rounds like uh, 450 Bushmaster, 458 Socom, and 50 Beowulf that you can use even for like wild boar and, and deer. In Ohio, you're only allowed to use straight wall cartridges from 35 caliber up to 50, I think, I think the rule is. So 450 Bushmaster and 50 Beowulf. Would be actually, they are allowed actually for deer hunting. For a long time, it was just shotguns and muzzle loaders and bows, but now they're starting to allow some straight walled rifle cartridges. <clears throat> so, what I'm getting at is you can have this right here and have a whole bunch of different upper calibers. Say, you know, one for home defense, one for hunting, one for long range shooting, like the 6.5 Grendel or 6.8 SPC or there's a new one, two, 224 Valkyrie I think it's called. I just like the idea that you have one gun but you got multiple calibers. Now what I dislike about most AR-15s is the gas system. So there's a little hole in the barrel and hot gas goes up through this tube here and you might be able to see that. That little stainless steel tube there goes all the way maybe you'll see it here. Yeah, you can see it right there. It goes all the way and it shoots hot gas and pushes the bolt back into buffer tube there. There's a spring inside of that that pushes the bolt back, puts another round from the magazine into the chamber. They kind of jokingly call it uh, shitting where it eats, whereas a lot of other semi-auto rifles, they're piston driven, which some people think is cleaner and better, but that's just the one thing I, I'm not such a fan of with these. They're uh, they're pretty easy to accessorize, as you can see, with what I've done with these. This one here is an 80% lower I milled out. That's why it's all gouged out looking on the inside. It was originally solid, and I put the lower parts kit in it, which is something else I liked about these, is you can put them together yourself. I kind of prefer that over just buying it. <clears throat> I built that one too, that Omni lower there. I thought it was a good deal for $50. I didn't know about uh, Anderson lowers, which are at least that price, if not less, and are the same material as that. Some kind of, I forget what, what grade, but some kind of aluminum. Um, and these are good because 
your lucky wife or girlfriend, or if you're a small guy, you can handle one of these for stay home defense. And they're not going to kick very much at all. And they have, you know, 30, 40, 70, whatever round magazine. Got plenty of bullets for protecting the house should it come down to it. Not that that's very common. I'm just saying. Um, you easily can put things like flashlights on. I kind of rage jab this one on. Just a scope mount. And I put a flashlight with some electrical tape around it. And quick detach mount. And a lot of different Magpul accessories on it. Things like optics, those are good. I've got a few other ones, but that's what's on it right now, the EOTech. This one here has a primary arms, 5X. It's the, uh, the poor man's Trigicon. It's about $1,000 less. But just thought I'd do a little ramble about ARs. I'll probably do a few more gun videos, but I'm not trying to make that be my my channel's primary focus. I'm not such a big fan of doing that.